What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Swolio back with some more Balls Deep action. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to daddy, because we're going balls deep today, all the way to the taint. <laughs> That's deep. What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Swolio. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't yet liked the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff because you're getting new juice every single day. Don't miss a thing. I know you don't want to miss a thing, especially these sick fucking games. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, you're still here. Okay, well today I wanna to talk about cheat meals. Ooh, yes. Everyone's been asking about cheat meals, fast food, and of course I make a lot of content about how processed sugar and all this fucking shit is just killing people. It's killing you, it's killing your kids, it's killing everyone. It's a zombie apocalypse out there. Everyone's fat and obese and miserable and stressed and depressed and on medication. This is not by accident. This is just part of a big old system that we are stuck. We're stuck in this rut, in this routine, and all the big players have all the money so it's really hard to break it it's hard to break the wheel just like game of thrones you gotta break the wheel we have to do it just like this sitting on the porch with a beautiful beard beautiful hair a beautiful breeze now we're making a difference aren't we aren't we fam so tag share and do all that stuff let people know what the fuck's going down when it comes to cheat meals i have a very specific take and it's not that if you want to eat your pizza look i'm your papa but i ain't your daddy you're going to make the decisions that you're going to make but i'm not going to sit here and lie to you and pretend like it's not affecting your health. What I want to make sure that I get across is that you don't cheat yourself. You don't cheat yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Don't give yourself that opportunity to psychologically tone it down, to pull back, to let your foot up off the gas. People are already doing that for you in life. Life is already doing that for you. Life is already mitigating your progress enough with chaos. You can't control what other people do. You can't control the weather. You can barely control anything except your active conscious physical, you know, muscular and neuromuscular actions in your body, most of your body processes are done without your actual intent. They're just done automatically. There's enough chaos in this world. You can't control things. So you need to control as much as you possibly can to create that kind of pattern so your body can build on those habits and really start to adapt to your little box that you're putting it in. In other words, what structure are you setting for your body in which is gonna cause your body to adapt in that certain way? It's very philosophical, but this is the mental approach of eliminating cheat meals. It doesn't mean that you'll never have anything that affects you negatively. It doesn't mean that you're not gonna enjoy your food because I certainly enjoy my food. I don't have cheat meals. I eat what the fuck I want to when I want to. But I also have aligned the foods that work best for my body with the foods that I enjoy and I love to eat because I've tested, I've tried, I've experimented, I've learned what meals I like, what foods work best, and I fucking eat those. It's not rocket science. And I say, don't cheat yourself. You shouldn't be giving yourself an opportunity to cheat. Don't let that in your world. Remember that book, if you give a mouse a cookie? when you were little, the kid's book, if you give a mouse a cookie, he's gonna want a glass of milk. If you give someone an inch, they're gonna take a mile. You can't let that shit in the door. You can't open up a crack. It's gonna flood the entire ship, right? If you have a little crack, it's gonna grow and grow and grow. You let a little water in, it's not gonna stop until it sinks your fucking ship. So if you are allowing yourself cheat meals, you're actively allowing chaos. You're actively allowing your body to be damaged by these foods. You're actively allowing sensitivities and inflammation to occur. Now, if you have aggressive goals, you need to put in aggressive effort. You're not going to get amazing results by putting in half-assed effort. And just because you have abs or you might be lean doesn't mean that you're healthy. And just because you're extremely obese doesn't mean you have diabetes this second. But everything that happens to you, the way you look, the way you feel, the way you perform is a cumulative result from what you're doing every day. You don't get diabetes overnight. You don't build muscle overnight. You're building muscle because of what you're doing on a daily basis. You get diabetes as a result of what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, this this is all happening on a longer term. And some people can change things quicker than others. Some people have to work harder. Some people have other issues as a result of not taking care of their health that takes more effort and more strategizing to reverse. We're all in a different situation individually, but there is that individualized nutrition and training approach that is right for you. You just have to be willing to work. You just have to be willing to try. You have to be willing to put in that kind of effort. And most people aren't. Most people aren't willing to put in that kind of effort. Most people are looking for a way out before they even find and start. Why are you giving yourself an excuse? Why are you allowing yourself to slack off before you actually put effort in? 
That's not what discipline is. That's not gonna build proper habits. No one is getting amazing results by slacking off. You never hear that phrase, like, oh, you gotta give it 80%. You always hear 100%, 110%, 120%. We all know there's nothing more than 100% technically, okay? But you have to aim high. You're always gonna fall a little bit short. Things are gonna happen. Nothing's gonna be perfect. So if you're already aiming for 80%, what do you think you're gonna land? 70, 60, maybe 50? If you're trying to go 100, you're more likely to hit 80 or maybe even 90. Now, it doesn't mean that you can never have anything like pizza or ice cream. But for some people, that creates a violent reaction. That creates a domino effect into either binging and making other bad choices because that food is addictive, it's designed that way, and or it's just not necessarily benefiting you. So you have to look at it on an individual level, on a day-to-day -day basis, on a meal-to-meal -meal basis, on a choice-to-choice -choice basis. You make choices. That's what this life is all about, choices. And your body, your physique, your health is a result of the choices that you choose to make. What choices are you making? Are you making those choices for the right reasons? Or are you making them because you just don't wanna fully commit? You don't wanna really jump the deep end of the pool. You don't wanna really submerge yourself in this lifestyle because you're afraid of giving up and sacrificing all these delicious instant gratifications. People don't have hard work, discipline, work ethic, like I mentioned. People don't have that work ethic. People don't have that patience. That's what it takes. You can love fitness. You can hate fitness. You can love going to the gym. You can hate going to the gym. It doesn't matter. If you wanna have a physique, if you wanna feel better, more vibrant, sure, you can go cycling, you can go swimming, but everyone should be working on mobility, training your muscles evenly. You don't wanna have those compensations, but approaching your fitness and training from a customizable standpoint that works for your lifestyle, that gets you the results that you want, that's going to help you live longer, live more vibrantly, doing the things that you enjoy for yourself, for your family, and for those around you. That is how we have to be approaching our fitness and our nutrition. Stop giving yourself a way out. Stop cheating yourself before you even start. Thank you so much for going balls deep with your boy, Papa. If you want this card signed by your boy himself, I will mail you this card. Just drop your comment down below with the hashtag uncensored and I will pick a random uncensored comment and send you this exact card from this video. And if you want to join the uncensored fam, go to swolenormousx.com, get all the bonus exclusive content for members only, access to the private fam, the weekly accountability meetings, the weekly Ask Papa Solio lives, and all the other amazing playlists for members only. It's less than three bucks, less than the price of a pumpkin spice latte, which you shouldn't be drinking anyway. You're going to enjoy it if you're in uncensored. If you're in uncensored, drop in the comments below how awesome Uncensored is. I'll see you over there and I'll see you real soon for the next video. Peace the fuck.